Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix Roblox error code zero identification failed on Windows. So the first thing what you need to do here is to restart your computer. Sometimes it fixes the problem. And if you restart your computer and uh, the problem persists, then another thing that you can do here, restart your router. So just simply unplug your router and then wait for about 10 seconds and then plug it again. And you need to then check if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, uh, another thing that you can do here uh, is update your operating system. So on search, just write check for updates and then uh, press this button, check for updates. And if there is an update for you that you need to install, uh, please do so and then restart your computer and look if the problem persists or not. And then uh, another thing that you can do here, you, you need to look if there is an update on Roblox app itself. So go to Roblox player, launch it up, and then just go to whatever game you like. And uh, once you basically, uh, as you can see here, uh, selecting the game and uh, if... Uh, uh, another me message pops up here that uh, the Roblox player needs to be updated. Please update your Roblox uh, player. And if the problem persists, then another thing that you can do here is to delete Roblox cache files. And to do so, completely turn off Roblox. Um, it should be no a Roblox uh, basically thing on the task manager here. And then what you need to do here is to on search right run. And then you just need to write app data, percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, and press OK. And then you will see this little window. And then go to app data here, go to local, then select whatever folder here, and then press uh, R. And you should, here should be Roblox folder. So delete, delete that folder. Don't worry, it's just the cache files. It will not affect the game. Maybe you will be logged out from your account in Roblox player. And then you just need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, you just need to reinstall Roblox player. To do so, on search, just write install apps. And then in, on search, just write Roblox. And then what you need to do here is to uninstall. And once you uninstall, uh, go to a uh, web version of Roblox, try the game, and you will get the pop-up message here that you can download a Roblox player, download it, install it, and the problem should be fixed. All right, so that's pretty much it. And if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.